Consumer electronics like cell phones are very chemical intensive products. Printed circuit boards like this can contain over 40 different elements and chemicals, a number of which are hazardous. Global demand for mobile phones has increased dramatically with over 90% of the world population now having phones. The life cycle happens of mobile phones from sourcing of the minerals, the production, the use of phones and the end of life have been associated with a wide range of negative social and environmental impacts. For this study we purchased 36 of the most popular mobile phones on the market and we did complete disassembly of the phones so that include pulling the cases apart on the phones pulling out the printed circuit boards and all the internal components. The samples were run on an X-ray fluorescence or XRF machine. The XRF analyzer allows us to focus on components down to a millimeter or two and we're able to get a readout of up to 35 different elements or chemicals that can be contained in the materials or the substrates of the phone. Among the best phones we tested were the Motorola Citrus, the LG Remark, the two most recent iPhones, the 4S and the 5, and the Samsung Captivate and Evergreen. You can go to healthystuff.org to see the full ratings on all the phones we tested. Apple, with its new iPhone, was our most improved company overall in our ratings. Looking back to the iPhone 2G, which was the poorest rated phone, the iPhone 5 contained significant improvements across the board in terms of the environmental performance of the phone. Samsung was the top rated manufacturer, with four of its most recent phones among the best in our ratings.